Hi everybody, this is Pastor Susan and welcome to our last day this week as we are wrestling with doubts that come to us sometimes through our reading of scripture and we're thinking about what does scripture tell us? How does it express God's word to us? How do we understand these difficult passages of scripture that sometimes challenge what we believe? And so today I'm going to be talking about who gets into the kingdom of God? Is it only good Christians? Are others also welcome into the kingdom? I want to read a couple of passages of scripture to you and then have a little bit of reflection as we think about salvation. Who's in and who's out? Listen to these words of Jesus from Matthew chapter 7. He writes, Don't judge so that you won't be judged you'll receive the same judgment as you give. Whatever you deal out will be dealt out to you. Why do you see the splinter that's in your brother's or sister's eye, but don't notice the log in your own eye? How can you say to your brother or sister, let me take that splinter out of your eye when there's a log in your own? You deceive yourselves. First, take the log out of your own eye, and you'll see clearly to take the splinter out of your brother's or sister's eye. And then let's hear these words from Romans chapter 2, verses 11 through 16. God does not have favorites. What? Those who have sinned outside the law will also die outside the law, and those who sinned under the law will be judged by the law. It isn't the ones who hear the law who are righteous in God's eyes, it's the ones who do what the law says who will be treated as righteous. Gentiles don't have the law, but when they instinctively do what the law requires, they are a law in themselves, though they don't have the law. They show the proof of the law written on their hearts, and their consciousnesses, their consciences affirm it. Their conflicting thoughts will accuse them or even make a defense for them on the day when according to my gospel, God will judge the hidden truth about human beings through Christ Jesus. You know, from a pretty early age, I kind of got that just saying the magic words, I believe, doesn't necessarily make one a Christian. Let me say that again. Just saying the magic words or praying the sinner's prayer doesn't automatically make one become a Christian. Why? Because God knows the heart. And whether you or I or anybody else make a statement of belief or not, God is able to judge the heart. That's the bottom line. It's not our job to judge anyone, whether they ultimately are in another religious faith or they're, you know, it's, it's somehow not connected with our understanding of truth. The only thing God is concerned about is your heart and my heart. And yes, I will share my faith with someone from another faith very, very um, lovingly. And um, But I also want to be open to others who might think differently or believe differently than I do because there's always something to learn. There's always a connection to make. And Jesus was not concerned. You remember who he spent his time with? Tax collectors and sinners, according to um, those who were unable to see uh, the humanity in them and in themselves. And so I, I want us to think about um, not being so concerned about making sure that everybody believes the same way I believe in order to get into heaven, because that's not my job. My job is to live faithfully and to share with others that love that God has given me for them. And then as they are asking questions of faith, to be willing to share my own, but also to struggle with understanding and learning more. God is doing a new thing every single day. Will we be open to what God is doing? Will we review, refuse to judge so that we might be open to considering our own, maybe the logs that are in our own eyes? Maybe we have something to learn from somebody 
who may believe differently than we do. My prayer for us is we'll be faithful and we will ask God to be with us and show us God's will and God's way through the lens of Jesus the Christ. For in him, we live and move and have our being. Our salvation is in the knowledge and in the relationship that we have in Jesus. So let's live it. Let's live it. Let's not judge. Let's love in Jesus' name and because he lives within us. Amen and amen. Mm-hmm.